FNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesaveno for uh, TFNN, and we've got the stock market in the Dow Jones is up, the S&P is down a little, NASDAQ down a little, and I'm not even sure about the Russell. I haven't even checked that today, but uh, I've had a question, is this the top in the stock market? And I can say unequivocally that I don't know. And you know what's even more important? I don't care. Because I'm a pattern recognition swing trader, and that's how I make my money. I don't make my money on predictions. They don't pay off. Patterns pay off. Predictions are just a figment of everybody's imagination, including mine. So keep that in mind. As Mark Douglas said, you must learn to live in the moment. And don't try to make the market do something that it doesn't want to do. We know that it's been going up since October the 27th. No question about that. Has it been doing this before? Yes, it's done it a few times in the past. Now, one of the questions that someone posed over the weekend was, uh, if I've had any memorable uh, times on a end of the year, uh, New Year's resolution, not resolution, but a New Year's type trade, yes, there was one. And it also, uh, they've asked me to uh, take a look at the Nikkei Dow. And that happens to be the same question, so I'll be able to answer that when we come up uh, to the break today. Tomorrow, our guest on Wednesday will be Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. I hope on Thursday we'll have Stan Harley. And then on Friday, I believe we're supposed to have Joe DiNapoli as our guest again. Our guest again. So that's what the schedule is uh, for the week. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully everybody will come up. But uh, this is a beautiful pattern that we're seeing here in the Dow Jones. I'm just going to switch off for a few minutes and go to show you how volatile the market was this morning. Those of you that are not watching it closely, but you can see here we dropped uh, 300 points in the Dow. We got all the way down to 37.70, and then we've rallied back. We're already above the 78% level. Now, the S&P has not even made the 382 retracement as of yet, but that was a trade that I was going to suggest today if the folks are here taking a look at it because we came very, very close to it just a moment ago. As you can see here, I'll just get this up here. Missed it by about a point, but uh, it's still in effect, so let's keep that in mind. Okay, we're going to take a little break now to pay a few bills, and then we're going to be right back with some trading information and some other information that I've accumulated over the weekend. So stay, stay with us.